Right, so, picking up from where we left off, um, last episode we escaped from Candlekeep and then our foster father Gorion was killed by a mysterious figure and Imowen joined our party. So we're quickly going to offload some stuff that Imowen's carrying. Functions to us, and that is a wand of magic missile, which allows us to buy our magic missiles. Now, looking at the map, this is where Gorion yes. was, so let's, uh, let's start heading up there. What, now I wonder where to now. Don and Off we chop. So Imowen said there was a letter on Gorion's body, or that there might be a letter on Gorion's body. <coughs> so there he is, poor old Gorion. There's a belt, a letter, a diagram. Let's have a quick read. My friend Gorion, please forgive the abruptness with which I now write, but time is short, there's much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold, and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in thy care, but the time nears when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have, perhaps, been a touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. A fighting chance is all that can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travellers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it, is, that it is a dangerous land, even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friends, and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. E. So, seems Gorion wasn't the only person who knew. And there's a mysterious E figure. Loot corpses of the other people that Gorion killed. Okay, so let's have another look at the map. Um, now, there is a, there's a few people who we could pick up um, along here. Uh, but they're more aligned to an, an evil party, and we're a true neutral party. It is... There they are. Zar and Monta um, We're going to skip them. One's a wizard, one's a thief. A uh, fighter. And we've already got a spellcaster and a thief fighter. We're going to be going pretty vanilla. Um, you see this here? This little blue thing? Access that. Yeah. There's a lot of these on uh, on the maps. There's lots of little, um, like, pixel bush type things uh, <coughs> that you can access. Hmm? Sorry, John, but I can't stop the chat. There's been another caravan raided northeast of Beragost. I must report of these dire straits to the Grand Duke. The messenger's work is never done. So, caravans near Beragost are being raided. Noting down. Um, now, usually, I would fully explore these maps with a quick, um, quick wander around. On uh, on this map specifically, you can quite often find wolves, um, which are good early experience if you can take them out. They usually come in uh, in singles rather than in groups. Bears are super dangerous at this level, so I want to tangle with them. It doesn't seem like there's anything really nearby, so 
Tell you what, we'll just go ahead and move on to the next area. <clears throat> so we shall head off to here. Oh, there, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. As he said, stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh unto a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Travelling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, I inquire which pertains to thee. Um, so a few options here. You can tell him to sod off, tell him to go fuck himself, or you can, uh, you can ask him the way to the friendly arm in, so we will do that. A fair bit of desperate, actually. Might you know the way to the friendly arm in? I was told I might find some friends. That I would. The inn is but a short distance to the north, and its doors are open to all. I have no doubt that thy friends shall be there waiting with open arms. My sympathies for any hardships the road might have inflicted upon thee, though I'm certain everything shall turn out for the best. I, but I have wasted too much of thy time and said too much already. I shall take my leave and wish thee the best. Mysterious old man. I wonder who he could be. So, quick save, because we've uh, travelled. A simple task! <coughs> now, if we head to the stone marker, this will tell us. Friendly uh, on to the north, Paragos to the south. If we head just up here, should see, yeah, there's another little pixel. Open that. It's a very useful item. Um, like I say, we can't identify items at the moment, but we can put that on and watch our armor class go down. And that lets us know that this is a ring of protection plus one. Ah, gibberlings. Now we've both got ranged weapons, so you should fall pretty quick. Uh, Jibblings are really easy to kill. Really, really easy to kill. Um, we're not going to do a full map explore at the moment. Uh, we're just going to go north to the, the friendly army. I want us to pick up party members as soon as possible because we have absolutely no front line at the moment. No one who can take it. Both um, me and Emily are really squishy. Hello, pal. Hello, pal. Don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There'll be beasties about here with better hearing than we. And what's the most dangerous thing you've seen out here? The most dangerous thing I intentionally went after. I stalked an ogre mage for a few days once. I had a party of my own back then. Killed the ogre, lost the party. Not really worth the trade if you ask me. I've seen more dangerous beasties, but usually over my shoulders I make tracks as fast as I can. No shame in running when your life is on the line. Off with you now, I meet the catch. Um, so his talk of an ogre is actually to let us know that there is an ogre, and the ogre can be found sort of off in this general direction. Um, but we are not going to fight the ogre at level 1 with two people in our party, um, because it would kill us pretty quickly. So we shall save the trail onwards, and head north to the friendly army. Um, and the Baldur's Gate map, you can see we can't reach this destination because we have not travelled to it before. Um, as you unlock areas on the map, you can fast travel around. It does take time, and the further you go, the more chance you have of being interrupted. Anyway, onwards to the friendly army. Okay. A oh, simple to... task. These first three areas are, are great for little hidden things. If we go over here, we'll find another very useful item. This little pixel here. An unidentified ring. Um, so this is a ring of wizardry. So let's um, let's people memorize an additional first level spell. I'm not actually sure yes. if it works on sorcerers. But I'll put it on, and we will see. 
spells can cast three of six. Three. Yes, so that doubles the number of first level spells we can cast. Cool, so that's really good. And done. Really, really good for a party, a mage based party. Here we are, let's head into the friendly arm in. Friendly arm in, which is essentially a castle. <laughs> it's the, the most fortified inn I've, uh, I've ever seen. First of all, talk to this one. Of course, <laughs> yes. Hey there, you're new here, aren't you? Could I trouble you a moment? Certainly, my lady. Speak your mind. Such manners. I need a gruff hand for this task, so keep your pleas and thank you garbage for the nobles. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins in sight of this very inn's walls. I need you to return the favour. Took my ring, and that's all I want back. Will you do it? Of course I will. Thank you. The creatures were just north of the inn. I swear I can almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring my ring back here when you get it. You'll know it when you see it. It's a flame dance ring and very striking. So, a quest there. Done and done. Now, Hello there. So, yeah. Which, I don't think there's any quest attached to it from memory. A simple oh, task. Pretty sure <laughs> So that one's locked, so we're not going to uh, try and force it. Well, there are people well, watching. <laughs> yeah. Screw our reputation. So now comes the first sort of challenging fight. Um, that said, I've been one shot three or four times already uh, by, <laughs> by the, the assassins at level one in uh, in Candlekeep. So huh, I'm you're a queer to fellow. Trigger this with this way. One. A simple yeah. task. What you want this way? Guards involved, you see. Hi, friend. Should, should have do it. Hi, friend. Here. Uh, yeah. Right, Tarnish. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before. What brings you to the friendly arm? Not much, really. Just road-worn travelers looking for a place to rest. I see, I see. Pardon my being too forward, but you've the bearing of someone I've been looking for. Without your height, they were. Same style of dress, or thereabouts, I dare say. You seem to be the spitting image of them. Might like you have travelled from Candlekeep, by any chance? Oh, this is pretty suspicious, what with the assassins, but... Yes, I was there until quite recently. Any chance would your name have to be Mabrin? Yes, that is my name! Seems I'm the one you're looking for. So, that obviously <laughs> triggers combat immediately. So we are going to um, respond yes. in kind. Now we're going to try and color My blade is uh, It seems like we we color sprayed. So he's too high a level color spray, but we did knock out him. Let's try sleep, uh, and we'll reload in a second when this goes horrible. Okay. So He goes hostile. What now? I wonder. Newin starts stabby stabby, and we cast sleep. He does nothing. <coughs> so fortunately, Imowin is fading away. And we're going to chuck a magic missile. And again. Yep, great. Killed Imowin. So, I'm just going to keep lobbing this, uh, this one down. Because that's our best chance of taking him out. Hey, there we go. So, 120 XP. That's really, What's your wine, really nice. What now? I want, of course. <laughs> yeah. in the oh, but look at all this treasure. Scroll. Three scrolls, a quarter staff, and 58 gold. 
So, there's the uh, bounty notice. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed on the head of Mabrin, the lost child of Brian. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. Those returning with proof of the deed should receive no less than 200 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal all these plans to the forces of the law shall join the target in their fate. So there we go. We're worth 200 gold coins. Where to now? And we got through with no deaths. <laughs> a simple task. Onwards. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine son such as yourself. This guy comes wandering up. I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. My uncle's in Baldur's Gate and I can't get there to see him. What does your uncle do? He's a mage and a crotchety old one at that. Goes by the name of Ragefast, though as kids we always called him Grumpleskin. Ah, if he ever caught us at it, he'd cast dark skin on us so we'd wander around all brown skinned and green haired and funny looking for a few hours. Great person. A simple task. So this dude over here, Dawn, is one of the new <coughs> um, EE PCs. We might pick him up as well. First looks more Kelly, don't you? Okay. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. Something about you is familiar, child. Your manners remind me of a sage I know by the name of Brian. It's almost a slight on him, but I see it too. Here, uh, mind your manners. This must be the child Brian wrote of so often. We're old friends of your adopted father. He's not with you? I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander around without his accompaniment. If he has passed, we share your loss. Brian often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians, if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companion should be your own. We travel with you until you get settled. Help you find your lot. It would be a fitting last service to Garayan, but we should first go to Nashkel. Khalid and I look into local concerns, and there are rumours of strange things happening in the mines. No doubt you've heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We're to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gask. So, your company would be welcome. Well, good. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. So, Khalid and Jahira join the party. Um, let's see, so Khalid is a fighter. Um, we can see his stats there, so um, he's actually pretty much weaker than me, except for his strength. <laughs> and because he's a fighter, he has 13 hit points, and I have 6, which is kind of shitty. Um, and Jahira is a multi-class fighter druid. Um, well, I'm pretty sure she used to just be a druid. They come with nothing useful. A potion of invisibility, a staff, uh, another potion of healing. So we'll keep that on Khalid because he is probably going to be taking all of the hits. At least we would hope that all of the hits. He's going to be our front line. Well, both of them are going to be our front line, but he's going to be our, our main, main front line. Um, if we take a look at their proficiencies, Khalid is good with a longsword. <laughs> Supposedly very good with a longsword, and Jahira is good with a club. So she comes with the court stuff, but she's better with a club. Yes, go so, As we're here, let's, uh, it's been have a chat with Bentley. Lately. What do you have to sell me? And get rid of the scroll, because we don't need that. So the dagger, the necklace. Morning stars don't count as clubs, do they? No, they're flails. Sell that, sell the longsword, because Khalid already comes with a longsword, I believe. Let's just double check that, make sure that it's not a, not a bastard sword or something stupid. No, it is a longsword, so it's, it matches his proficiency. Oh, my simple task. Is open to all who behave themselves. So, don't need dagger, don't need any of that. that. Don't need leather armor or a short bow. Look, that diamond, 500 gold. Their longsword. Scrolls are pretty useless, um, but I can use them as one-shot uh, casting items. So I'm not going to keep burning hands or armor, uh, because as a one-shot they're not good. Magic missile we could um, probably chuck out there at, uh, at an emergency. 
Um, we're going to buy a club. The Jahira. And if we have a look <coughs> through what her equipables are. Oh yeah, we can sell that version of this other thing. So at the moment she's wearing leather. Um, now we could equip her with splint. Might as well buy part of it. I'm not quite sure how armor works with glasses, so we'll leave leave it off of her for now. <coughs> this guy can't identify anything but we can rest here. So let's stay for the night. Splendid. Right, if we do a quick pass of the upstairs, there's a few quests that we can pick up. Well, of course, here <laughs> you. Yep, I've done had enough of this. So, first of all... We're gonna uh, use England to scout around. She's not a very good thief. So it's a little bit pointless, but... There might be some logs. Get better than this you heard, there's a rogue with a belt fetish to south of the friendly arm in. I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing for my life out there. I wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, if you can get that belt back to me, I'd be mighty grateful. That's the ogre that the, um, the hunter was telling us about. Um, so we will head back there. Let's try and deal with the ogre. Mm. Room, so we'll just have a quick items. Take a quick tape. Warhammers count as warhammers. I was just checking whether they counted as clubs. Or Jahira. She's such a bad thief. Like all of our characters are all of the, the characters are super weak at this level. I have to come back. Yes. Don and later on. Well, of course. <laughs> this one we want to talk to. A pleasure it is to meet. Hey, you. I've got an infestation of poisonous spiders in my cellar in Baragost. Bentley said I could stay here until they move out, but they ate the pose. You know the house when you see it, just to the west of the jovial jug we're in. Here, take these potions with you. The antidotes against the poison. Keep whatever you don't use, and I'll give you an extra 120 gold pieces. Bring back my husband's old boots that he keeps down there. Bring back one of their bodies and my old bottle of wine. I might put in a little something extra too. So that is a, a nice quest for us to do. Um, it's also cool. now, of really course, difficult you. to do it too. No time to chit chat. About time you showed. Here, I need these tunics clean and pressed by this eve, and be extra careful with the golden pantaloons. Took 15 women and a small boy from Kalimshan 12 days and 4 nights to weave them. So careful on the seams. Well, get going. Um, so this is one of the items that you can carry forwards into Baldur's Gate 2. Um, option 1 and 3 will fail this. Option 2. So yes sir, pantaloons pressed and ready by tonight, or breakfast is free sir. Done and done, be on your way. Wait a moment, don't you dare go anywhere. Here's an extra couple of coins. Put in a pleat that would make daddy proud, if you know what I mean. Yet. Okay, so we got two gold from the generous nobleman and the golden pantaloons, um, which are completely useless except you can carry them through into uh, into Baldur's Gate 2, where they do eventually become useful. Where to now? Dawn and dawn. Okay, so that is all of the quests and task. stuff that we can loot. So uh, let's, task. let's talk to Dawn, shall we? 
It's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. He's taking me for someone else. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Nothing would please me more. Okay, a brewing half orc mistook me for a servant. Had half my selling with stick. It looks like the sort would be handy in a fight. I can talk to him back here. Obviously, he's done the, done the vanishing trick, which is where <laughs> NPCs will walk into the shadows and from the shadows completely disappear. Please, seat yourselves whatever you wish. Okay. So we're pretty much out of time, so we will call that the end of, of episode Of course! <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, walk to somewhere. Here we go, and quick save. Hooray! So, um, we will leave it there and pick back up from this point in episode 3. Bye!